The mill as a complete package can consist of some of the following constituent parts. Receiving hopper, destoner, pneumatic separators, airlocks, magnetic separators, sieve cleaner, small grain indented cylinder, long grain indented cylinder, gear reducers, scourers, water tank, dampener, tempering tank, roller sets, pneumatic centrifugal sifters, cyclone separators, block of cleaning cyclones, high pressure fan, block of filter bags. The operation principle of the mill as a complete package consists of the succession of operations described below. After the grain is delivered to the receiving hopper, the sieve separates coarse foreign materials, wood chips, pieces of cloth, straw, etc. Then grain comes to the destoner, which removes coarse and fine stones, bolts, nuts, and other foreign impurities which are heavier than the grain of the same size. Then for the first time, dust and other light impurities are cleaned out in the pneumatic separator. Sieve separator partially separates out sand, weeds, seeds, crushed grain, and then takes away bird excrement, earth clots, seed husk, straw, and wild oats. The first indented cylinder separator separates out impurities which are shorter than wheat grains. It is important to achieve high flower whiteness index. To prevent flower infestation, the indented cylinder separator also separates out crushed grain and weed seeds. The second indented cylinder separator separates out foreign grain that is no longer than wheat grain, like oat or wild oat. During the next stage, the grain is cleaned by the scourer to remove out dirt, mold, and some loose bran. It is achieved as a result of grain aggressively rubbing against the scourer walls, bars, and sieve. Further on, the grain is cleaned from dust and other light impurities in the pneumatic separator again. Then the grain comes to the dampener, where it undergoes the intensive moistening process, conveying it into the tempering tank. This makes the bran elastic for better separation in the milling section. The grain fills in all sections of the tempering tank, going from the dampener through its swivel chute. After the dampening, the grain is processed in the scourer again to be cleaned up from the germ and germ oats and then is filtered from dust and other light impurities in the pneumatic separator one last time. Roller mill and pneumatic centrifugal sifters are two main units that work in succession throughout the grain milling process. Roller mills are perfect and a reliable machine. Adjustment simplicity and grinding gap stability are their main design characteristics. Roller mills are easy to maintain and repair. The roller type feeder with feed plate distributes the grain evenly along the length of the rollers. It brushes clean the roller's working surface effectively. The pneumatic centrifugal sifter improves the processing line construction. For example, to produce three grades of flour, only four types of sieves are used and the vibrations, the mill size, and power consumption are reduced. Intensive influence of the pneumatic centrifugal sifter improves the flour separation from bran and reduces roller mill loading. Flour bagging is done in the mill bagging section. The primary technological differences of the mill modifications are presented individually for each mill at the combined functional diagrams in the print manual.